All right, in this video, I'll be teaching you guys some essential shortcuts to use as a beginner in Photoshop. Enjoy! All right, so the first shortcut you want to learn is how to create a new layer super quick. So this is a, like a little fun trick you want to learn is after you press Control shift n this tab will show up. And then if you click OK, you can create a new layer. But a cool way to actually do this is I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and delete this layer real quick. The, a really cool way to do this is after pressing Control Shift N. As soon as you do that, you want to press Enter, and then it will look super cool just doing it. Like if someone's watching you or anything, it's just super cool to do it. So I'll show you how it looks like. Boom, that's how you create a layer. It's pretty cool. Um, I learned this from a, another tutorial, I think. But yeah, it was a pretty cool trick I learned and you guys should do, do it too. And that's a really quick way to make a new layer. So let's get on to the next shortcut. Alright, so the next shortcut is like super, super beginners, but super important. So for example, if you have a layer like this, like a black square filling the whole screen, or literally anything, and you want to rotate it, resize it, or really anything like that, this is super important so all you want to do is select that layer and hit ctrl t on your uh keyboard and this little the uh, guideline all that will show up and you can resize it you can rotate it and you can literally do anything and if you press shift while resizing you can resize it like to anything you want and yeah it's pretty simple but if you're a beginner and you really don't know anything about Photoshop, this is the first thing you really need to learn. So let's move on to the next shortcut. Alright, so the next shortcuts are kind of like a list of shortcuts to learn if you ever want to like work quick, quickly and effectively. So I'll be teaching you guys all the shortcuts for all the tools. So for the most essential one actually is the move tool, it's V. And then for the selection tool, it's M. And then for the another selection tool, kind of like a magic wand and all that, it's the uh, W. And the crop tool is C. The frame tool is K. The eyedropper tool is I. The spot healing brush tool is J. The brush tool is B. The clone stamp tool is S. The history brush tool is Y. The eraser tool is E. The bucket tool is G. So the blur tool doesn't have a shortcut because it's not really used widely often. So you don't really need a shortcut, you just need to click on it. And the dodge tool, so it kind of like lightens the area. So as it says in the description right here. And it's O. And then the pen tool, you are probably going to use this a lot, is P. It's super important, it's very useful too. The T tool, another very essential one, is T whenever you want to type a text. This is, I don't really use this often, but it's a path sel path selection tool, sorry. And that's A. This is another super important one. Rectangle tool or other short, uh, other shapes here is U. And then the hand tool is H. So whenever you want to move something or move around the composition. And the zoom tool is Z. So that is pretty much it for our list of the toolbars right here. Um, so if you learn all of these, it's super, super useful. You don't have to like every time click and when you, whenever you want to change tools, you can just hit a, a key on your keyboard and you can always go around all the tools. So yeah, let's move on to the next shortcut. All right, for so the next shortcut is whenever you want to go back to something. So let's say that you have selected this, selected this part of a layer and then you don't you want to deselect so normally what you do is go and like to a tab or something or right click and click deselect again these are all super time taking and annoying so i'll be teaching you guys the shortcut so for the shortcut is Control d and boom you deselect it so you select something and you do something with it like delete it so for example if i rasterize just real quick and then delete this and then i don't want to use this selection tool anymore Control d and you got your selection uh gone and then you can move around and all that so yeah and 
let's move on to the next shortcut. Alright, so for the next shortcut, let's say that you made a mistake or anything. So let's say that you choose a different harness for your brush right here. And then, for example, you just accidentally painted something like this. And then you want to go back to your original space. All you do is literally super easy. A lot of people may notice, but again, this is a beginner shortcut tutorial. So I'll be teaching you some beginner stuff. All you want to do is hit Ctrl Z and boom. It's literally that easy. And yeah, let's move on to the last shortcut. All right, so the last shortcut is kind of a shortcut, but also not. So whenever you're using the brush tool and then you want to increase the brush size or brush hardness, you have to go to this tab and then you have to adjust it manually and all that. But if you want to do it uh, like super quick, this is a really, really good shortcut. So all you want to do is while pressing Alt, and if you right click and you drag right or left, you can change the diameter of the brush uh, brush tool. And if you do up down, you can increase the hardness or decrease the hardness. So if you go up, you decrease the hardness. If you go down, you increase the hardness. So yeah, it's super simple, but super useful. And you can like literally play around all this, increase the size and all that. And it's super, super useful. So you guys really should be learning all these real quick and you guys will be a professional designer in no time. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Um, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.